Why are many African countries increasingly turning towards China for investment and development? Many African countries are turning towards China for investment and development over the United States, due to a combination of strategic partnerships, significant financial commitments, and the perceived benefits of these relationships. The shift can be attributed to China's comprehensive engagement strategy, which includes large-scale investments in infrastructure, favorable trade relations, and a more pragmatic approach to development and diplomatic relations. This video examines how Africa is modifying its partnerships, notably reducing trade with the United States and increasingly engaging with China. China has become a significant investor in Africa, with foreign direct investment FDI flows from China to Africa, rising substantially from $74.8 million in 2003 to $4.2 billion in 2020. The stock of Chinese FDI in Africa also saw a dramatic increase, reaching $43.4 billion in 2020, from just $490 million in 2003. This investment has been concentrated in several sectors, particularly construction and mining, which have been the largest channels for Chinese FDI. China's engagement is also characterized by the Belt and Road Initiative BRI, aiming to enhance infrastructure development across the continent, including roads, railways, ports, and hospitals. The progression of the trade relationship between China and Africa has been noteworthy, reaching unprecedented peaks in recent years. In 2023, the bilateral trade between the two saw a modest growth of 1.5% from the year before, amassing a total of $282.1 billion. Although the growth was not massive, it symbolized the steady expansion of their trade links, with China holding its position as Africa's major trading partner for an impressive 15 consecutive years. The however, widened Africa's trade deficit with China considerably, with Chinese exports to Africa amounting to $173, $173 billion, a 7.5% increase from 2022, and imports from Africa decreasing by 6.7% to $109 billion. Before we proceed we encourage you to consider liking the video to show your support for our channel. Additionally, we invite you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Your feedback is invaluable and will help us reach a wider audience. Thank you for your support. Several factors contributed to this expansion in trade, which included the skyrocketing commodity prices and China's initiatives increase imports from Africa. The trade between them soared to a record $282 billion in 2022, marking an 11% annual increase. This surge was fueled by the rising prices for commodities like oil, copper, cobalt, and iron ore, all significant components of Africa's exports to China. The year was characterized by substantial fluctuations in commodity prices, with noticeable hikes in the early months, and a slow decline as the year forward. South Africa stands as the largest market in the continent for Chinese goods, and an important source of minerals for China. The trade between China and South Africa alone swelled by 5% in 2022, hitting $56.74 billion, and making up a considerable part of Africa's total trade with China. Furthermore, China has enacted policies focused on rectifying the trade imbalance with Africa, strategies like establishing green lanes for African agricultural exports and granting duty-free for goods from numerous African countries have been launched to enrich the diversity of trade. These policies have eased the export of a range of agricultural products from African countries to China, such as sesame seeds from Ethiopia, Tanzania, and Uganda, and have extended to include soybeans, avocados, tea, coffee, and beef products from other African nations. Despite the trade growth and initiatives the trade imbalance, obstacles persist, such as Africa's widening trade deficit and the concentration of trade on resource exports. However, these strategies and the sustained trade growth illuminate the dynamic and evolving character of China-Africa economic relations. Additionally, the view of China in Africa is predominantly positive with most respondents in surveys across African countries perceiving China's influence and contributions to development favorably. This perception is supported by conspicuous infrastructure projects, and China's readiness to invest in high-risk projects or regions generally avoided by Western countries. China's approach, stressing non-interference in local affairs and concentrating on government-to-government -government contracts, is also viewed favorably by many African leaders. In contrast, 
The United States has faced reproach for its perceived disrespectful treatment of African nations, often treating the continent as a homogeneous entity, rather than recognizing the diversity of individual countries and their specific needs. Despite initiatives such as the U.S. Africa Leader Leader Summit, African leaders express disillusionment with what they perceive as America's lack of sincere investment and regard. Conversely, China's approach to engaging with Africa on a bilateral level has yielded substantial trade opportunities and partnerships. As a result, an increasing number of African youth view China as their nation's foremost ally for achieving future prosperity and success. The trade relationship between the United States and Africa presents a contrasting picture to that of China and Africa. While China's trade with Africa has been growing steadily, the U.S.'s trade relationship with the continent has been more turbulent. In 2023, the U.S. Department of Commerce launched a comprehensive Africa engagement strategy, which facilitated nearly $3.6 billion in transactions supporting U.S. exports to Africa. However, the overall U.S. trade in goods and services saw a decrease in the goods deficit by 18.7% from 2022, with exports increasing by $35.0 billion or 1.2%. The U.S. Africa Growth and Opportunity Act, or AGOA, has been a significant factor in shaping the trade dynamics between U.S. and Africa. The program has led to a surge in U.S. imports from Africa since its inception, with exports from AGOA countries to the United States nearly tripling in the first decade. However, exports declined to near their 2000 levels by the mid-2010s, with a slow recovery since. The diversification of exports under AGOA has also been limited with a significant portion of non-energy U.S. imports from Africa coming from a few countries. Furthermore, the future of U.S.-Africa trade, especially regarding AGOA, is poised for re-evaluation as the program faces expiration in 2025 without renewal by the U.S. Congress. While China's trade relationship with Africa is characterized by growing investments, increased imports, and policies focused on rectifying trade imbalances, the U.S.'s relationship is marked by a mixed picture of success and underdevelopment. The Atlantic Council highlights the importance of reorienting U.S. international economic policy towards Africa, suggesting the potential for a newly defined future of trade relations that maintains business confidence and addresses challenges faced by African countries in this context. What is clear is that both China and the U.S. recognize the vast potential of Africa as a trade partner. However, their approaches and the outcomes of their policies have been significantly different. As we look to the future, these dynamics will undoubtedly continue to evolve, shaping the global economic landscape in profound ways. The United States has faced reproach for its perceived disrespectful treatment of African nations, often treating the continent as a homogeneous entity rather than recognizing the diversity of individual countries and their specific needs. Despite initiatives such as the U.S.-Africa Leader Summit, African leaders express disillusionment with what they perceive as America's lack of sincere investment and regard. In stark contrast, China's approach to engaging with Africa on a bilateral level has yielded substantial trade opportunities and partnerships. As a result, an increasing number of African youth view China as their nation's foremost ally for achieving future prosperity and success. Hope you find this video informative. Do not forget to leave your thoughts in the comment. Thank you for watching.